Hello everyone, today is day 15 of my 30 day SQL query challenge and the problem that I have taken for today is a very very interesting one. Okay, now this is not a basic problem but I would say it is somewhere between intermediate and complex level. But if you look online for similar problem, you will find a lot of different articles written about similar problem. In fact, I have seen the same problem on Reddit, I have seen it on Stack Overflow and a few other platforms. Okay, now this particular problem was shared to me by one of my subscribers in my email. Now, first of all, let us understand the problem statement, which is actually pretty straightforward. So from the given friends table, we need to find the number of mutual friends. Okay, so we have this input table given, it has information about different friends. What we need to do is, we need to find how many mutual friends each of these friends actually have. Okay, so for example, you can see that Jason and Mary are friends and we need to find how many mutual friends do they have. For example, in this particular table, if I see Jason is also friends with Mike and Susan, right? And Mary is also friends with Mike, John and Susan. So if I have to find who are the mutual friends between Jason and Mary, it would be I think Susan and probably Mike, right? So that is why the count here is two, two mutual friends. And the same thing I need to do for every other friends here. So this is basically the problem. Now I hope you understand this. Now you know what you need to do. You will find all the materials in my blog as well as in my Discord server. Go to those links. You will find it in the video description. Download the data set. Try to solve the problem on your own using any database and then share your solution in Discord. Now I will be solving it using PostgreSQL database and I'm using the PG admin tool. Now I have already created the table as you can see here. First and foremost, let us come up with a logic that we could probably use to solve this problem. Now when you see this table, you can see that in first record, JSON is mentioned in the first column, whereas then in some of the records here, JSON is mentioned in the second column here, right? Basically what this means is, if Jason is friends with Mary, that means Mary is also friends with Jason. So that means that we need to consider both these fields equally to understand how many friends each user has. That basically should be the first thing that I should do. I should probably write a query where I could bring all of them together such that I have all the friends in, in one, probably in one subquery or something, right? Why do I need that is because once I have all the friends, let's say listed down in one subquery, then I can try to scan those that list with this friends table okay and then let's say for each record here jason and mary i can go and check how many friends jason has i probably know that jason has three friends right then i can also check how many friends mary has mary has four friends then i could probably do some some logic where i can find the common friends between them okay so this is something that i need to do in an sql query so first step is I need to bring all the friends together. For that, what I'm going to do is I'll just copy this. I'll say uh, this one and I'll just mention the columns here. I'll say friend one uh, and then friend two, right? Uh, and then I'll just copy the same thing and I'll put it here because I know some of sometimes a user might be on the first column and sometimes he might be on the second column, but irrespective of where they are, Basically, the friendship is both the ways, right? So that means I will again put friend two here and friend one here, and then I'll do a union all, okay? And if I just run this, you can see that I'm getting 12 records if I just expand this. Now, and let's say if I do an order by here, order by, let's say one, okay? When I say one, it's the first column that is friend one, okay? Now I can see that JSON, there are three records. So the three friends of JSON is mentioned here, Mary, Susan, and Mike. When it comes to John, John has only one friend, Mary. When it comes to Mary, Mary has four friends, Susan, Jason, Mike and John. And same thing for all the other users, right? So this is basically the first thing I wanted. Why? Using this result set, I know like this can be my main result set where if I want to find how many friends and who are those friends of each user, I can just come and find it in this uh, subquery, right? So this is the first thing that I wanted. Now, once I have this, what I can do is, I can try to join this with the data from my main table friends. For example, for let's say if I just copy this, okay, I will just keep all of this here. And let's say if I query from the friends table, let's say I write a query where for each record from the friends table, I start from here, right? 
I take JSON from the left hand side, the friend one column, and I try to scan for that in this result set, okay, here in this subquery. So I'll get three records because JSON has three friends. Then I probably write either an exist clause or a not exist clause or a in or a not in clause. And I write another subquery where I take the friend two from that same table, okay, we are processing this first record, right? I take friend two Mary, and again, I search for Mary in this in this result set. So for Mary, I'll get these four records, right? And then somehow I compare, right? So among these, and I take everything that is present here in the second column, these four and these three, and I see which are the common friends. Whoever is a common, I take them. Whoever is not common, I exclude them, okay? So something like this, I need to build. Now, it might be a little confusing when I'm explaining like this, but probably when I write the query, it will be more easier to understand. So first of all, I'm going to use a CT here because I want to use this result set. And inside CT, we don't really need to use the order by, so I'll not use that. And here I'll just call it like all friends because I just merged everything together uh, and I'm just calling it like all friends, okay? And I'll just put this inside the parenthesis and now I'll write my main query. So in my main query, I will be using this table friends, right? And I'll just put it here. I'll call it F. And now what? Now what I need to do is from this table, I'll be processing one friend at a time. So if I just run this, you can see that and I'll be processing one friend at a time. Let's say for the sake of understanding, I'll just put a filter where friend one equal to JSON. Okay. And that means I, okay, I will not execute it, but you understand, right? I'm just processing the first uh, friend that is JSON, right? Now, what I want to do here is I want to join my friends table with this result set, right? And that result set is in this CT, all friends, right? And I'll let's say I'll give the name like AF and then I need to put the join condition. My join condition is I need to take AF dot friend one, okay? That is this particular column, the first column, okay? And I want to search for this friend, okay? In this table that is AF table under the field friend one, right? So hopefully when for, for this particular JSON record, it will, this result set here, I think has three friends. JSON has three friends. So when I do this join, hopefully I'll get three records. So let me run this and okay. I did not put a select here. I'll just put select everything and I'm getting too many records oh, because I ignored the where clause. So now let me run this and I'm getting an error. Uh, I need to say F dot and now let me run this. Okay. Now you can see that I'm getting the three records. Okay. Don't look at all the values in these columns. Ignore that. I just wanted to show you that because JSON has three friends. When I do this join, I'm getting those three friends details. Now what I want to do is I want to put another condition. Okay. And I'll just do one thing. I'll just put it here. Okay. And I'm just going to say, and so in this result set, JSON has three friends. Okay. But in this friends table, if you see for this, I took JSON, the friend one field, and I did this comparison, but I also need to check for this friend two, right? Maybe. So for that, what I'll do is I, I know all the friends of JSON that is in the friend one will be under this AF field friend two, right? So in this table, I matched friend one to be with JSON. That means three records will be found, but the friend of the friend of JSON will be in the second column that is friend two. So this field is going to return me the three friends of JSON. Okay. So if for example, if I run this, you can see the three friends of JSON will be, I think this three. Okay. So that is what I'm taking here. AF dot friend two. Okay. Mary, Susan and Mike. Okay. This is what I'll take. Then what I want to do is I want to get all the friends of Mary. Okay. In order to get all the friends of Mary, I can just again use the same table that is all friends. Okay. And I'll just call it like AF2. And here I'll just tell where. So in this query here, I was looking for the friend of JSON. Okay. And now I want to look for friends of Mary here. So what I'll do is I'll say AF dot AF2 dot friend one equal to F dot friend two. Okay. So this is my F table. That is a friends table. I'm taking this field, Mary. Okay. So for the first record, this is going to be Mary here. Okay. It will join with this whole all friends table. It will get all, this will basically get me all the friends of Mary. Okay. So hopefully four friends and the field it's going to have is AF2 dot friend two. 
So a of two friend two is going to have all the four friends of Mary. Okay. If it's not clear, just for the sake of understanding, I'll just put Mary here, hard coding it, and then if I run this, okay. So this all friends is a sub query here. So let me just for the sake of understanding, just put that sub query here. Um, okay. Uh, just put it here. And now if I just run this, you can see that I'm getting the four friends of Mary. Okay. So I'll remove the sub query. I don't need it. I will use the CT. Okay. And I'll, I just wanted to show you. So what is basically happening when I do this join? Okay. So this inner query that you see here, it's going to return me all the friends of the second column that is friend two from this table. Okay. So in this case, for the first record, it is Mary. So all the four friends will be returned here. Whereas this sub query here will return me all the friends of the first friend that is Jason, right? And then here I'm just going to say in, okay? And if I just do this, only the friends which are common between the first friend and the second friend will get passed, right? Only those records will be returned. And hopefully when I run this query, it should only return me two, two records because the common friends between Jason and Mary are only two, okay? Because here I'm just taking for, for example, Jason. Now let me run this and you can see that I am getting the two records and who are the mutual friends? It is this field. Okay. Mike and Susan are the mutual friends of Jason and Mary. Okay. And you can basically verify that from the input data. Okay. So this is my logic uh, that I'm using. Okay. Now I executed it only for Jason. Now, if I just comment out this, let's I'll comment out this as well. And now if I run this, now you can see that I'm getting the six records and it probably has everything, but let just for the sake of clarifying it, I'll say f dot star, okay? And I just want all the mutual friends and my mutual friends are basically present in af dot friend two field, okay? I'll call them like mutual friends, okay? Now if I run this, maybe I will just sort this out just for better clarity. I'll say order by one, okay? And if I just run this, now you can see that Jason and Mary have two mutual friends, Susan and Mike. Whereas Mike and Mary have just one mutual friend that is Jason. Mike and Jason have one mutual friend Mary. Susan and Jason have one mutual friend that is Mary. And Susan and Mary have one mutual friend that is Jason. Okay. I hope you understand. But if you look carefully and if you compare it with the input, one of the friend is missing. That is John. Right. John is basically not shown in this record. Why? Because John was his friends with Mary, but they do not have any mutual friends. Okay. And since they do not have any mutual friends, here, whatever friends I get for John and here, whatever friends I get for Mary, none of them are matching. Hence, this in condition will return basically no records. Okay. So, I do not want to exclude friends who do not have any mutual friends. I want to include them as well. So, I'll use a left join here. Okay. And now, if I just run this whole query, now you can see I'm getting seven records. And if I just move this up, now I think John, yeah, John is also here, but there is no mutual friend. That is, it. That is why it is null. Okay, so basically I have got my two friends and I have also got their mutual friends. Of course, I'm not interested in this field. This field is just for your understanding. What I'm interested in is the count, right? How many mutual friends they have. Now, easily I can do that by using a window function. I could also use a group by, but probably I'll use a window function here. I'll say count and I want to count the mutual friends. So I'll just copy this. I'll put it here. And I'll say over, I'll say order by the same field. And I'll just call it like uh, mutual friends. Okay. And okay, this one, above one, I'll call it like mutual friend name. And this is the mutual friends, right? And if I run this, probably it's not going to give me the right output. Okay. Why? I think you know, because I need to give the proper frame clause. Okay. So here I'll just tell range between unbounded preceding and unbounded following. Okay. And now if I just run this, now also I'm getting it wrong. Okay. So now everything is six because it's basically take, taking the whole result set and it's trying to find the count. Okay. I do not want that to happen. I want the count to be for each pair of friends, right? So that means I need to do a partition here. So I'll say partition by uh, these two, that is, I'll say f dot friend one comma f dot friend two. Okay. And when I'm partitioning by this, I'll also sort them by the same field. 
let me run this and see if it works now i think it is actually working so jason and mary you can see that they have two mutual friends john and mary no mutual friends and then for all the other pair of four friends there are they have one mutual friend and that is exactly what i wanted okay of course i have one additional record here and that is because when i was fetching this data i fetched for i was fetching data for every uh, matching mutual friend right now i can easily ignore them first of all i don't need this field so i will just comment out that field it was just for your understanding and if i run this i'm still getting seven fields but i can easily remove them by putting a distinct here so i can say distinct and i think that's all and this is basically my final output okay so this is basically the solution to this problem okay i hope you understand this and i hope you like this if you did make sure to like the video subscribe to the channel and share your solutions in my discord and help all the other users okay thank you so much for watching and i'll see you again tomorrow with another interesting problem bye